taken, how should we say, an erotic turn. <laughs> we don't know why. Uh, there's been a series of them. One, one with water that I think he enjoyed a little too much, to be perfectly honest with you. There's been a lot of questions. We've been wondering what's going on, Pete, haven't we? I think my mum wanted to know what was going on, too, <laughs> to be honest. And, and way. finally, hoping he's here to explain himself, is the wonderful Tommy Little. Please welcome you. What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> uh, what's going on is, um, is that tomorrow is an important day, but it's a day that I didn't know about, and I thought maybe people out there don't know about it either, and it's a problem that is bigger than I thought, and so I thought maybe I'd do something about it, and this is that thing. Two things are on the rise in this country, youth homelessness and youth saying the word, yes! And whilst both are disturbing, it's the first I want to focus on. Let's talk numbers. The latest census data has revealed that about 116,000 Aussies are homeless. That's a roughly 14% increase since the last time we checked. For me, the most shocking part is a third of these unlucky Aussies are under the age of 25. I don't know. When I was young, the biggest stress I had was whether or not I'd run out of links Africa. So I can only imagine how awful homelessness must be. And it's easy to underestimate the amount of homeless youth we have because a lot of them are invisible. That's not a superpower, that's the actual term. The word invisible uh, is describing around 95% of the people who are homeless uh, couch surfing, sleeping in the backs of cars, not the people that we're walking around and tripping over in the street. But when you run out of mate's couches, or you might have to sell your car, you could try crisis accommodation. That's often overcrowded, which means you have no choice but to end up with the roughly 8,000 other Aussies here on the streets every night. Now, life on the streets has always been tough, but thanks to this bullshit, which to be honest, I've only just found out about, it's gotten a whole lot tougher. I'm talking about hostile or defensive architecture. And like a drunken uncle, it's getting smashed all over your city. Sometimes it's weird spikes on the ground to make a sheltered space too uncomfortable for a person to sleep there. Or it might be these, unnecessary bars across benches, meaning you can't lie down on them. This type of hostile infrastructure punishes young people who do not have any place to go. 70% of them are unable to return home because of family violence, uh, because of child abuse or because of family breakdown. In Melbourne, you can see hostile architecture at Parliament Station, where these bars stop skateboarders from grinding, but they also stop people from sleeping there. In Brisbane, you'll see the kinds of fixed armrests on benches, like I mentioned earlier, on the corner of Alice and Edward Street in the city. In Adelaide, outside the art gallery, you'll find random raised metal bars and super narrow bus stop benches to deter sleepers. Over in Sydney in 2015, at Wynyard, Town Hall and Central Station, they moved the barriers outside so only people with an Opal card could get to use the public toilets. And in Perth, they went neck level and installed sprinklers to go off every hour throughout the night to deter rough sleepers from sleeping undercover at the King's Street Art Centre. But they stopped doing this after the public realised what was going on. They're doing this to try and make all of our homeless invisible. So they just bugger off somewhere else. And that's because this is a problem that's much easier to, to hide than it is to actually fix. So my thinking was that if this is something that you've just found out about, like me, then maybe it'd piss you off a bit as well. And maybe you'd want to do something to help our homeless mates out, rather than just shove a metal bar in their back to stop them sleeping. I know I did, so I became a model citizen. Well, kind of. I became a model. Well, kind of. I became an Instagram model. Well, kind of. I became an absolute <laughs> flog. The transformation was disappointingly easy. <laughs> Tommy Little, like you've uh, never seen him before. What? The comedian is live to tell us about his new show and why he's stripping off. He's concerned because he likes his comedians to sort of be a little bit mm. chubby like and Jeff sort of Gaffigan a little bit... And you, poke fun at themselves. Yeah. Look at my big belly and I like food. Now here you are. I mean, I could go both ways. Dave, I'm happy to chub up for you at any time. <laughs> yeah, that's right. For the last two weeks, I've been making an absolute tit of myself by posting modelling shots on Instagram and telling anyone who'd listen about how I wanted to get into modelling. And people have been so nice about my career pivot. <laughs> Friends of mine have said that it's going to be hard to find you funny anymore. So what's your exact thoughts on it? 
something has happened to you and I don't know what it is. <laughs> what is going on? I'm annoyed. I just try and do something that is really body positive. Like he thinks he's David Beckham, but he's a dickhead. <laughs> Most people aren't wrong. I am a dickhead, but I'm a dickhead that exclusively modelled clothes I bought from Homie, a charity based in Melbourne that uses 100% of their profits to help homeless Aussies. And like hostile architecture attempts to make homeless invisible and frame out reality, I used Instagram to also frame out reality. The pictures you've seen so far are cropped, but now it's time to stop focusing on the guy who wet the bed till he was 12 and zoom out to see what's really going on in these pictures. I modelled them in locations where, instead of being met with hostility, Aussies affected by homelessness instead find kindness. So this shot here, where I'm doing the holding in a fart face, is outside Launch Housing, which provides housing and support for homeless Aussies, whilst also driving policy change. This nude, which is now also my grinder profile pic, was taken inside YSAS. They help substance affected and at-risk vulnerable youth with a number of amazing services, including free medical care. Or this one here was shot outside the Lighthouse Foundation, which provides young people from backgrounds of long-term neglect and abuse with around-the-clock therapeutic care. Oh, and this one here. I'm so sorry. This one was shot in the window of Homie's store. Apologies again to the staff who basically saw up me. Okay, so here is my challenge to you legends at home. Tomorrow is Youth Homelessness Matters Day. So if you want to help out our homeless homies, you can jump online and donate to places like Launch and uh, the Lighthouse Foundation that you've just heard about. They're doing amazing work. All the links are on the project website or on my Insta account. Or... You could hashtag be a model. And by that, I mean be a model citizen. Head to homie.com.au and just buy yourself an awesome shirt. Let's together make this brand massive. And then if you want to, you can actually be a model. Put your shirt on, jump on Insta, use the hashtag fake tan, fart face. That stuff is optional. But how about instead of being hostile towards Aussies doing it a bit tough, we can just show them a bit of love. <laughs> Congratulations, like such an important issue and so great of you to do that. Well, and it's just nice for me to put a camera in front. I mean, you make me get naked so often that it's just nice to have a camera in front of me for once. Yeah, yeah. Um, I had no idea about the defensive architecture. Yeah. That's just... It's, it's a pretty awful thing because I, I didn't either, to be honest. Yeah. And uh, so this was kind of what prompted her for this. When you not only um, ignore the people that are most vulnerable, but you actually target them, that's just not the society I think we want to live in. Yeah, but we kind of deal with it because then we can't see them. It's not our problem. You're exactly right. Yeah, which is like we kind of have with that tent city in Sydney, same sort of issue. But, yes. but I have to ask you, it's been a tough week for you because <laughs> you put these photos out and part of the thing is you're not allowed to explain. Yes. How have you got through it? Are you, are you well, right? I knew it was at a point where it wasn't good when I, um, my mum said, I said, Mum, do you have any questions about the photos? And she said, word for word, I always knew you were a bit of a knob. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I mean, no one asked you to take your shirt off, though. That was voluntary. Yeah, that was voluntary. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I was into you. I thought there might have been some kind of marketing campaign, like mm. a corporate thing. You're making a few dollars on the side. Yeah, you, so know this... what, you know what sucks? I found out if you're going to do fashion modelling for a charity, you make no money. <laughs> I have made no money for this. I've actually donated uh, to each of the causes uh, that we, we just saw there as well. Um, but also, Carrie, I've got great news. You were really annoyed with me because our radio show wasn't involved, uh, Carrie and Tommy's show. On the Hit Network, we're on 44 stations around the country. The Hit Network have come on board, and Homie are going to be our uh, major sponsor for a week of their time oh. as well. I may have done that. <laughs> And there's one more Can you prove you have a belly button? There's a room where you haven't got a belly button. Can you just uh, shut... Oh, don't make me take it off again, both, both my dignity and my belly button are gone. <laughs> just, very, just very quickly, let's call them out. Which tier of government does this defensive architecture? Is it local government? State government? You, we haven't hung out enough to know that you're not meant to ask me in-depth questions, bro. Just head to homie.com.au and buy your shirts. That's Tommy, that's why I leave. It's really awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. We'll see you wearing the homie t-shirt. Yes. Um, thank you, bro. Take care anyway.